What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. Mike Shelbo, he's a glass artist from San Diego. Uh, I've done, uh, well, the, when I first met Mike, it was at a pop-up art event uh, hosted by More Super, uh, my friend Jill. Uh, out in San Diego, she would do different shows, one of which being at Bar Basic. Uh, she'd do some shows at Ray at Night and different shows at different venues around San Diego. And one of them was at Bar Basic. Uh, I think it was Tuesday. Uh, they would do like a regular Tuesday show or something like that. Anyway, I was invited to go. Other artists were there showing their artwork. And I had some prints and some other things very early on in my kind of selling stuff live to people. Uh, and one of the other artists that was there was Mike Shelbo, and he had a bunch of different uh, things that he made with glass, uh, different trinkets and jewelry and necklaces and all kinds of different things. Um, <clears throat> and he was really cool. We got a, had a little conversation while we were doing the show, and later on... Uh, one of my neighbors, uh, which I was neighbors with Jill uh, at the time, but one of her other neighbors who uh, had later, I think she does acupuncture and stuff now, um, she decided to take glass torching classes from Mike and asked me if I would like to join her and take classes. He, I believe he taught glass torching and glass blowing uh, at the one of the local schools, one of the local colleges out in San Diego. Um, and he was doing these private lessons in his uh, studio, his garage at home. And uh, I figured, why not? Why not try and expand my, uh, my horizons of creating art and see if maybe working with glass is something that I'd be interested in. And, uh, you know, this was a time when I was experimenting with podcasts. I had done, I'd been doing the Billy Dallas show, did a few episodes of that. So early podcasts, it's like 2007, 2008, around there. Uh, so anyway, so my friend, my neighbor, she, she drives, takes, drives us over to his house to do the lesson. And he kind of gives us the tour and see all the different things. And uh, we start doing it. And the first lesson was to do these glass beads. And he would had these metal skewers that kind of looked like kebab skewers, except for, you know, round, the round kind, not the flat kind. So they were like metal skewers, and they were primed. They were dipped in like this uh, clay stuff. So it had like a coating on the outside of the, the metal skewer. And then there were rods of glass and there, you know, there's a torch mounted to a desk shooting away from you, obviously. Um, and then there was, you know, kind of a fire resistant backing on that end. And you would wear protective eyeglasses and you would look at the, the, the fire and you would put the put the uh, bar with the coating on the other end of the fire. And you would kind of melt the glass through the fire onto the bar. And then while you're doing that. You kind of roll the bar in your hand, and you wrap the glass around the bar. So that's what you're supposed to do. What I did, right, what I tried, I tried to do that, right? So I had uh, the bar, and I had the glass, and I'm trying to do the thing. And there's a thing that happens with me, which I've, I rarely experience, uh, the most recent time I experienced it was when I was trying to replace, or I successfully did, uh, replace the camera in my iPhone because uh, the camera went out. And I, you know, instead of buying a new phone for multiple thousands of dollars uh, or hundreds of dollars, I decided to buy a $60 replacement and do it myself. And the screws are really tiny. And there's something that happens, whether it's little tiny screws in the iPhone or trying to make glass beads, but the thing that happens to me is when I, when I really try and focus on doing something that requires extreme precision with my hands, the more I focus, the more my hands turn into current day Michael J. Fox, where it's just like uncontrollable, uncontrollable shaking. Like the most kind of, just like the most over the top, 
ridiculous amount of handshaking. Now, I'm not talking about, I drank back then. I mean, I still drank, but I was a heavy drinker back then. You know, so there's times when you're a heavy drinker, you wake up and you get the, sh- you ha- you're, you're shaky. Your hands are a little shaky. You know, maybe your blood sugar is a little low from drinking or whatever, and, or maybe too much caffeine the next morning. Maybe a combination of those things where it's just like, uh, you know, y- your hands are kind of a little shaky. This was the SNL cartoon over the top version of whatever the fuck that is because this was so ridiculous and the pressure being the fact that my my not my roommate but my neighbor and mike were standing there because it's just one setup where you know he's teaching us you know and my my neighbor she just like effortlessly she just does not only beads she's doing like decorative beads she's like light years ahead and i'm over here just you know they're watching as i cannot control myself at all like it's it like so ridiculous like i'm i'm stepped outside of myself observing myself trying to make these basic glass beads and it's just all that i can do to try and get this i finally i got like maybe six decent ones and another 10 really bad ones but it's tough because i would you know once you touch the glass to the rod you don't want to pull it away because then it it takes the coating off of the rod and the coating's there basically like flour is when you're making bread you know you sprinkle flour on the cutting board or whatever the butcher block and you you know while you're kneading the bread and doing whatever you're doing with the dough And uh, it's very similar to that. So you don't want to take that or else it'll stick to the bar and then you can't get it off. Um, So that was one of the things. I was tapping it and then, you know, it would peel the stuff off. So I I went through a ton of these these rods that were coated. And I just couldn't, I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I really tried. I went back a few times and I was eventually successful mildly at making a few beads which i still have the beads i don't know where they're in storage somewhere but i kept them because it's you know it it was it it was proof that i tried it's proof that i tried it's proof it's the moment i realized that this is not the art form for me i can't do this like this is just it's not it's not my wheelhouse it's just for whatever reason my neurological ability to control my body in doing fine detailed work like that is just beyond my capabilities uh so i wasn't able to do it but i I went a few classes and i like i was so excited and determined to to get this when i first started like excited that oh this is going to be awesome because i had i was like doing a lot of surrealism and i had ideas of being able to do like little sculptures of my ideas and you know it, i think it would have been amazing if i had figured it out but you know I, early early on and i was like how i was brainstorming how i would set up although my neighbor was taking the class as well so we were actually both in in a way trying to brainstorm where we would set up our torching set because you know you have you don't want to burn the place down uh but we wanted to maybe continue doing it um i don't know how much longer my i like i couldn't do it it was getting expensive anyway but uh and i had to move it was a whole thing Uh, so i don't know how much more my my neighbor did of it but i just there were i couldn't do it i had to pull out i had to pull out but mike shelbo uh really well known get buy his stuff he does all kinds of glass sculptures uh he's a well-known artist in that field and uh he was a really cool guy and really uh accepting of my inability to do what he does uh so go check him out at mike shelbo on uh instagram and twitter and all that uh that's it that's it i'm I'm done talking about my glass torching abilities uh new episodes of this show come out daily subscribe on igtv and everywhere else podcasts are found binge the full week in advance over patreon.com slash inspired disorder inspired disorder.com for all of my original artwork save 10 percent when you buy a painting by using coupon code inspired at ray taylor for me on all social media have a great day everybody peace out